வெல்கம் டு மோமிதரம் இந்த வீடியோ வி வில் சி டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் அர்ரேஸ் அண்ட் ஹவு த எல்மின்ஸ் வில் பி ஸ்டோர்டு இன் த மெமரி இன் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் அர்ரேஸ் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் அர்ரேஸ் அர்ரேசர் ஜென்ரலி கேட்டகரைஸ்ட் இன் டு டூ டைப்ஸ் தட் இஸ் சிங்கிள் டைமென்ஷனல் அர்ரேஸ் மல்டி டைமென்ஷனல் அர்ரேஸ் தட் இஸ் டூ டி த்ரீ டி ஆர் ஃபோர் டி எக்ஸெட்ரா சிங்கிள் டைமென்ஷனல் அர்ரே ரெப்ரஸன்ஸ் ஏ ரோ ஆர் a column of elements how we can able to define the single dimension array is by using single square bracket so this is the example for single dimensional arrays if an array contains a reference to other array objects these arrays are called multi dimensional arrays if an array contains a references to another array objects that means if an array contains the reference of another objects that time we can called as multi dimensional arrays two dimensional arrays commonly known as matrices two dimensional we can called as multi dimensional array and the best example for this two dimensional array are matrices matrices represents rows and columns in this example if you see we have a matrix and it is uh, the rows will talk about students individual student details it will talk and the columns will talk about subjects like maths physics chemistry uh, l1 and l2 labs we can say we have taken an example so if you see student 1 has maths physics chemistry l1 and l2 he is applicable all subjects student 2 is applicable only for maths chemistry and lab 2 he is not applicable for physics and lab 1 and student 3 is applicable for maths physics and he is not applicable for chemistry lab 1 and lab 2 and similarly student 4 is applicable for maths physics chemistry and he is not applicable for l1 and l2 so in this case the whichever is not applicable that memory locations are wasted so the multi dimensional arrays are not implemented in approach called matrices they have implemented by using an approach called array of arrays if you see multi dimensional arrays in java are implemented as array of arrays approach but not matrix approach they have implemented using array of arrays approach if we implement by using matrices by general array itself has a issue with memory if you use this multi dimensional arrays implemented with this matrices see this memory locations and all if you are not applicable we are not using that memory locations and all we can not able to remove so that is the reason they have used an approach called array of array approach this array of array approach is nothing but an array may contains the reference of another arrays the main advantage of this approach is to improve the memory utilization two dimensional array two dimensional array is an array containing references of one dimensional arrays two dimensional array is nothing but an array containing references of one dimensional arrays so how we can able to declare uh, this two dimensional array is int two square brackets we have used so for single dimensional array we used single square bracket for two dimensional arrays we use two square brackets int square bracket square bracket a is equals to new int of 3 comma 3 this 3 will talk about how many objects it can be able to store 3 means this two dimensional array a will store three single dimensional array objects this b into b is equals to new int of size we have defined here this four will talk about it will store four single dimensional array objects it can able to store in the second flower bracket if you are not defining the size also not a problem but it is always recommended to define the size in the first square bracket in the right hand side 
so we have defined int a is equals to new int of 3 3 and we are printing length of that one int b is equals to new int of 4 b dot length is it is giving first size it is giving 3 and second statement is, is giving 4 so this is how we can able to declare two dimensional arrays if you see in this example, int a is equals to 1, 2, 3. This a is one dimensional array. B int b is equals to 4, 5, 6. This b is one dimensional array. C is equals to 7. It is having only one element. So this a, b, c are called as single dimensional arrays. And d also single dimensional array. So if you declare this one, int two dimensional array is equals to a b c d we have added so two dimensional array contains the references of one dimensional array so as per the definition we have created a two dimensional array with uh, uh, references of one dimensional array a b c d so length of this uh, so the length of this two dimensional array is four if you see in this example we have created a four individual one dimensional arrays and if you see here we are declaring two dimensional array is equals to a b c d also we are using anonymous uh, one dimensional array that is we can able to define anonymous arrays also it will but it is an uh, one dimensional array right that is the reason it is accepting so the size of this array is five because we are having five one dimensional array objects if you see in this example and we are trying to create the two dimensional array with the, that one dimensional arrays along with the anonymous uh, one dimensional array and we are trying to give one value single element we are giving it is saying error saying that required type is int of that means it is accepting this is a two dimensional array it needs uh, it needs to have the references of one dimensional array or it needs to have only one dimensional arrays like that it is saying so two dimensional array is nothing but it will have only references of one dimensional array or it has only one di one dimensional array as the element so we cannot able to keep uh, the individual elements inside the two dimensional arrays how are the two dimensional arrays stored in the memory? Let us see an example. Int a is equals to 1, 2, 3. B is equals to 4, 5, 6. C is equals to 7. We have created three one dimensional arrays. And we are storing this. And we are using this uh, one dimensional array when we are creating two dimensional array A, B, C. So what will happen? An object will be created with two dimensional array name and it will have a b c the size of this two dimensional array is 3 0 1 2 in the 0th position it will have a object and b will have and the first index will have b object second index second index will have c object so inside the each object this each index pointers to the unusual single dimensional array so here a represents 1 2 3 and here b represents 4 5 6 and c represents 7 so if you want to know the index of this one fifth index or if you want to print this fifth value how we will use how we will uh, define the index so two dimensional array of two square brackets will be there in the first square bracket the value of this object will be there the value means this is the second index sorry the value of b is first index and this value is first index so two dimensional array of one comma one so if you want to display this five value two dimensional array of 1 comma 1 we can able to print and if you want to update value also two dimensional array of 1 comma 1 is equals to you can able to update the whatever the value and if you want to access this uh, this one element how we can able to use two dimensional array of 0 comma 0 this first 0 represents uh, the index position of the two dimensional array so 0 is a and this first one is represents uh, this individual element or the index position of the single dimensional array so two dimensional array of 0 0 is nothing but this value
And let us see the same example we have used system dot 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 printl and of two dimensional array of 0 comma 0 so this uh, two dimensional array of 0 0 this is this 0 first 0 represents first object and this first 0 represent in the first index value of the first object that is 1 here 0 1 is nothing but first object of second index that is the second index is nothing but second element is nothing but first index 0 to 0 of 2 is nothing but in the two dimensional array uh, first 0th index and in the 0th index object uh, 0th index uh, second index value is 3 this is how we can able to access the two dimensional array values if you want to change the value of this 7 how we will do 2 dimension 2 d array 2 0 is equals to whatever the value we want to change we can able to access in that way so if you see in this example what we are doing we are doing the same we are displaying the values of the respected indexes so 2 d array of 0 0 we are displaying 1 0 1 is 2 0 2 is 3 when we are trying to display the value for 0 3 that is giving in the array index of top bones exception because in the 0th index the two dimensional array 0th index is a a object is there a object has only three elements so the index value will be 0 to n minus 1 that means to up to 2 we can able to access we are trying to access the third uh, element that is a uh, third index value we are able to access but the value is not available that is the reason it is giving array index out of bounds exception so when you try to read the values from the arrays if it is not available that time we will get this array index out of bounds exception if you see in this example we are uh, traversing or we are iterating this uh, two dimensional array by using two for loops why we are using two for loops here the first two for loop will talk about the, the elements in the two dimensional array that is the objects a b c are all the references so by using this first two for loop we are able to traverse the each uh, objects and the second for loop we are using to iterate the elements in the individual objects so first object a is we are having so first when you run this for loop for i equals to 0 this i equals to 0 represents this eighth object so in the eighth object again there are some list of elements are there to traverse that elements we are using second for loop to iterate the two dimensional array we will use two for loops so this is how we can able to iterate the two dimensional arrays next is three dimensional array three dimensional array is an array containing references of two dimensional array so as we know two dimensional array means it will have references of one dimensional arrays three dimensional array means it will have references of two dimensional arrays so two dimensional arrays how we can able to initialize and how we can able to declare into followed by three square brackets single dimensional array one flower bracket two dimensional array, array two flower brackets three dimensional array three flower brackets will be there so, so these three are the valid uh, declarations we can use this type of declaration all three are valid forms here also when you are creating any dimensional array we have to compulsory specify the size so we have to specify first index value remaining index value if you omit also no problem first index value we have to compulsory represent this value will be defined sir. how many uh, two dimensional array objects will be stored in this uh, three dimensional array objects will be referred by using this first index so if you use three this uh, a three dimensional array a will have three three two dimensional array objects this uh, c is having size is a two that means this uh, c three dimensional array will store two two dimensional array objects so if you see in t a is equals to 1 2 3 b is equals to 4 5 6 c is equals to 7 so first we have created one dimensional array and after that we are creating two dimensional array by using one dimensional arrays after that we are creating three dimensional array by using these uh, 
two dimensional arrays so here in this example 3d is equals to d comma e here d represents a and b objects again this a represents one two three values so if you print this one 3d uh, 3 3d dot length so it is giving two that means this is a two dimensional array having two two dimensional arrays we have taken the same example in t a b c and we have created a two dimensional arrays and after that we have created a three dimensional arrays let us see how this one will be stored in the memory how this three dimensional array will be represented in the memory with the pictorial form so whenever we run this program what will happen a object will be created with the size is 2 and this object will be pointed to 3d whatever the variable we have given that will be pointed to that in our case d and e are the two objects so d is stored in the 0th index and e is stored in the first index again this d represents a two objects a and b this a and b is two dimensional arrays and this e represents c that is two dim c is a two dimensional array again this a represents a one dimensional array and the elements are one two three this b represents a four five six as the one dimensional array and this is six represents seven is the element of this one dimensional array so if you wants to see or if you wants to print this value as a seven how the index will be represented as 3d of 100 this one is nothing but the three dimensional array index so here one is nothing but 0 and 1 so e is nothing but second element is nothing but 1 followed by 0 this 0 is nothing but whatever the of this object will be have references right in that first index value it is representing see if it is if here it is no value at there if value is that means it will be one will be there so here we are having only one element so we are representing c and followed by this is zero zero is nothing but one dimensional uh, index position it will define so whenever we are having any two dimensional or three dimensional are also for example we are having three dimensional first array will talk about first array index will talk about the three dimensional array index and second uh, index will talk about the two dimensional array object and this uh, third index will talk about that one dimensional array object if you have four dimensions four objects will be four array indexes will be there four first one will represent four that uh, four dimensional array index a uh, third one will be three dimensional two dimensional one dimensional it will we will be represented in the same way so if you see in the same example we are printing 3d 3 3d of 100 so here 100 is nothing but 7 we have used the same example 100 is nothing but here we are getting 7 and we are uh, we are printing 0 1 1 so this 0 1 1 is nothing but 0th index in the three dimensional array 0th index that is first 0th index uh, and the second dimensional array is first index and the was in the single dimensional array first index it is talking so if you see in this example 0th index is uh, d and the first index is b in this single dimensional first index is 5 so uh, 3d of uh, 0 1 1 means 5 so 0 of 1 1 means 5 so this is how we can able to access the or we can able to represent the array elements in any dimensions if you see here as we know three dimensional array means it will have references of two dimensional array or we can anonymous uh, two dimensional arrays also will be there that will be fine but here we are defining three dimensional array and in the d is a two dimensional array fine e also is two dimensional array fine this a is one dimensional array so we are defining a one dimensional array in the three dimensional array so it is giving error so what is four dimensions arrays four dimensional array is nothing but for an array which will has references of three dimensional arrays and so on we can say so this is all about uh, what are the types of arrays and how the arrays will be stored the elements in the memory hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching